Good morning. Welcome to worship with Fairview Presbyterian Church. I am the pastor here, the Reverend Emily Zeig Lindsay. It is good to be together this morning here in the sanctuary. We do have a handful of folks who are joining us on Zoom this morning and folks who worship with us um, as they watch the YouTube recording later in the week. Uh, two quick announcements. Poinsettia orders are due today. Um, so if you forgot, there's red um, order forms available on the table in the lobby, and you can just stick them uh, on the desk in the office so we can place that order tomorrow. Uh, we will have Christmas Eve services uh, this Friday on Christmas Eve at both 7 and 10 p.m. So I hope you'll join us as we celebrate the birth of Christ. Uh, there are other announcements in your bulletin, so be sure to look through uh, and check those out. And now, as God's beloved community, let us stand and greet one another this morning. As you find your way back to your seats, let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship as we pause for the ringing of the bell and to listen to a prelude by Joan. Would you please stand as you are able for the call to worship? 
Let us rejoice this morning in the coming of Christ. There is good news for the weary. There is good news for all present this morning. Our opening hymn is number 141, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Let us join our voices together in song. You may be seated. And at this time, I'll invite the Wagner family to come forward to light the Advent candles. We will join them at the very end in the bolded part. I'm looking for Grayson and Ella Wagner. Here they come. A reading from Isaiah 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look at the young woman is which child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. Why do we light four candles? The first candle was the candle of peace. The second candle was the candle of hope. The third candle was the candle of joy. The fourth candle is the candle of love. It 
It reminds us that God loves the world so much. God sent Jesus to be its savior. With every candle we light, we remember that Jesus, the light of the world, is coming, and we claim hopes of him. God became one of us so that we could see the face of love and hear the voice of peace and be touched by the hand of grace so that we could know the heart of mercy. God came to us in Jesus so that we might have hope. God comes to us now offering us forgiveness and peace. So in that knowledge, let us confess our sins together. Would you please join me in the unison prayer of confession? Emmanuel, you are God with us, but we fail to see you. Our eyes and hearts get tired of waiting and watching for your presence for so long. Forgive us, God, and make us the disciples you call us to be. Prepare a place in our hearts for Christ. Amen. Children of God, do not be afraid. The promise given long ago has been kept once and for all in the birth of a baby in Bethlehem. Rejoice, for Christ is coming. Rejoice, for your sins have been forgiven. And at this time, I'll invite all of the children to join me up front, and we will welcome them with the song, Where Children Belong. We do have a lot of kids.
In Brazil, you might be greeted at Christmas time with Boas Festas, which means Good Holidays, or Feliz Natal, which means Happy Christmas. Christmas is a special holiday. Papa Noel, the gift giver, comes in through an open window since most homes have no need for a fireplace. He, he places gifts in children's shoes, which have been left under the Christmas tree. Even though many people cannot afford to buy gifts or decorations for their homes, the spirit of Christmas is festive and joyful. Dances, picnics, and fireworks are free for everyone to join. Brazilians, may, many of whom are Catholics, have a tradition of helping the poor at Christmas time by giving white gifts at the Christmas Eve Midnight Mass. These gifts hold white foods such as potatoes and rice, which are given to the poor for their Christmas dinner. During the Mass, people place their gifts in a straw-filled manger. There is a light on the manger to symbolize the light of Christ. Presbury's manager senses are common. In most homes in this country, children make figures, figures from brightly colored sawdust and the figures move closer in the manger as Mary and Joseph move closer to Bethlehem. An old Brazil an old Brazilian legend says that on Christmas Eve, animals can speak. The rooster calls out, Christ is, bro Christ is born. The cow asks, where? And the sheep answer, in Bethlehem of Judea. Merry Christmas in France is Joyeux Noël. The holiday season begins on December 5th, St. Nicholas Eve. This is one time for giving gifts. French children may also receive gifts on Christmas Eve and New Year's Day. The gifts are from St. Nicholas. A Christmas tree is found in most homes in France. It is decorated with many stars of all colors. The creche, or manger scene is the center of the celebration. The family takes great care in assembling their crush. Most of them are made of clay. The last figure to be placed in the crush is baby Jesus. Evergreens and candles decorate the crush and families sing Christmas carols about Christ's birth. The first Noel is a French Christmas carol. And that's how the Germans say Merry Christmas. The German people love Christmas. The Christmas tree tradition came from Germany. Martin Luther was the first to bring an evergreen tree indoors. While outside on Christmas Eve, he became so moved by the beauty of all the tall trees against the starry night sky that he cut one down and brought it home to his family. He placed lighted candles on the brows to symbolize the stars sparkling over Bethlehem. O Tannenbaum or O Christmas Tree is a popular German Christmas carol. Another German Christmas carol is Silent Night. Originally, the tree was small enough to set on a table and was decorated with red apples, cookies, candy, and candles. Today, Christmas trees come in all different sizes. They are decorated with an angel on top and toys underneath. 
In four weeks prior to Christmas, families use an advent wreath and light one candle each Sunday, including a fifth candle on Christmas Day. Children write letters to the Christ child asking for presents. The main celebration takes place on Christmas Eve. Children are allowed to stay up late, decorate the tree, go to church, eat a traditional meal, sing carols, and exchange family gifts. I was my holy night. All is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child. Holy in this all tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake. At the sight, glory stream from heaven afar. Heavenly hosts sing hallelujah. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Happy Christmas is the traditional English Christmas greeting. Many of our customs come from Great Britain. For an example, the Christmas cards originated in England, and some think the school children were the first to send them. The first Christmas card was printed in 1843. Wassling is also a Britain custom group of people walking up and down the streets, singing Christmas carols while sipping on hot bunch-like drink called wassling. Holly Ivy is a mistletoe where also imported parts of the holidays before the English had their Christmas feast. They pull open the Christmas crackers. They are paper cylinders with filled with prizes and royals. They make noisy crackling sounds when open. Candles in Yol Long are lit representing the start of Bethlehem and the light of the world. Ainsley and I are going to sing a traditional carol of Great Britain. Deck the halls. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Down we now our gay apparel. La 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 la. Troll the ancient yule the tie carol. La 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 la. See the blazing yule before us. La 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 la. la. Strike the harp and join the chorus. La 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 la. Follow me in merry measure. La 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 la. While I tell you your tight treasures. La 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 la. la. Fast away the old year passes. La 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 la. la. Hail the new year, lads the lasses. La 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 la. Sing the joyous all together. La 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 la. Heed the sound of the wind and weather. La 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 la. Merry Christmas in Italian 
is Bon Natale. The nine days before Christ Day is called Novera. Novena. Novi, Novena is in a very festive time. Bagpipes play in the streets. There are Christmas fairs with fireworks, bonfires, and singing. <clears throat> the Italian manger is called a pres a presco pres Precipio. Precipio. They are set up in most churches and homes. Christmas Day is for church, family, and feasting. Bon Italy. Feliz Navidad. That is how you will be greeted in Mexico during the Christmas season. Christmas in Mexico is a very religious celebration. They start their Christmas celebration early and is long. It begins December 12th and goes until January 6th. On December 16th, Las Posadas begins. Las Posadas lasts nine days. Focuses on where Mary and Joseph were looking for somewhere to stay. Families decorate the outside of their houses with evergreens, moss, and paper lanterns. The children carry a figure of Joseph and Mary during the procession. They go to the houses of friends and families singing a song about Joseph and Mary looking for a room in the house. At each house, they are told there is no room and they must leave. The last house, they are told there is room in the end. They stay at that house after a time of Prayer and religious celebration. They celebrate with a party with food, games, piñatas, and fireworks. On the final night of Postadas, Christmas Eve, a manger and shepherds are placed on the board with Mary and Joseph. When they find the final de predetermined house, baby Jesus is put into the manger. And then the families all go to midnight church service. After the church service, there is fireworks to celebrate Christmas. One game that is often played at the parties is breaking piñatas, like this one, or the more traditional piñata, like this one. They are filled with sweet nuts, small toys, a blindfold is placed to cover the children's eyes, and they take turns hitting it with a stick. Nativity scenes are very important of the Christmas celebration, even more popular than Christmas trees. They can be very elaborate and often life-size. Some can take up a whole room in a house. Their nativity scenes not only include the traditional figures, but they also include women making tortillas, people selling food and different animals, and birds. They have big markets set up that you can buy the pieces from. Some children receive presents on Christmas Eve, and some receive them on January 6th, which is known as El Did de Los Reyes, the Three Kings. The presents are often brought by Amito Diaz. Baby Jesus. There is a special cake they eat on January 6th called Rosa de Reyes, where a baby Jesus is hidden. Whoever gets that figure will be Jesus' godparents for the year. Belain, Campana, stay Belain. Que los angeles to con. Que no way they retrace it. Bethlehem, bells of Bethlehem, that the angels ring. What news do you bring me?
Christmas celebrations in the Philippines are a mixture of Chinese, Spanish, European, and American customs. The main Christmas symbol is the Christmas star. It is found everywhere, hanging in windows, lighted like a lantern, and carried in parades. The parade of stars takes place on Christmas Eve. Large stars, sometimes reaching 30 feet across, are decorated, carried, and prizes are given to the most beautiful stars. The holiday begins on December 16th with the sound of bells, firecrackers, and bamboo cannons. Roosters out to the north at 4 a.m. church services. Christmas Eve includes a midnight mass. When the Bible story is read, a star glides down a wire from the choir loft and lands appropriately in the nativity scene. After church, people visit little stalls for coffee, tea, and fruit juice. On Christmas Day, families and friends visit and exchange gifts. This continues through January 6th, Three Kings Day. In Poland, the Christmas greeting is the Szczek Spiot Bozego Narazynia. Children in Poland receive two sets of gifts. St. Nicholas leaves large gifts, apples, and heart-shaped honey spice on cakes on December 6th. On Christmas Eve, the star man leaves smaller but important gifts from the stars and the wise men. Stars are the most important Christmas symbol in Poland. The Polish celebration begins when the first star is seen on Christmas Eve. Families share Oplatek, which is small bread-like wafer. And eat a festive meal. The Christmas Eve table is set with a white tablecloth and straw is scattered underneath the table as a reminder of Christ's birth in a stable. An extra place is set at the table for the Christ child or an unexpected guest. Leftovers from the meal are fed to the animals who are believed to speak on this special evening. Families go to a midnight mass called Pasturka. Christmas Day is spread visiting friends and relatives. Homes are decorated with sheaves of grain and a fir tree. The trees always have stars as well as angels, birds, and colored paper and ribbons. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power. We were gonna stray. All tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. All tidings of comfort and joy. Sweeten the Christmas greeting is God Jewel. On December 13th, the holiday begins with a special feast of Saint Lucia, the Queen of Light. Legend says that Saint Lucia brought food to Christians in hiding and wore candles on her head, so her hands were free to carry the food. She is a symbol of hope and plenty. In remembrance of Saint Lucia, each year the oldest daughter in every family dresses in a long white gown with a red sash at her waist and wears a crown of candles and leaves upon her head. The sons in the family wear long white shirts and pointed paper hats on their heads. These boys are called star boys. 
and escort St. Lucia as she brings food to family and friends. Christmas trees are decorated with pine cones, paper mache apples, gnomes, birds, snowflakes, and lights. On Christmas Eve, bells call people to church. Christmas Day is a quiet day for families and church. December 26 is called the second day of Christmas, and it is a time for parties and fun. The holiday is not over until January 13th when the tree is taken down. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky look down where he the little Lord Jesus, the sweet on the There are many countries in Africa. On the west coast of Africa, most homes have an oil palm tree for a Christmas tree which is decorated with the bells. On Christmas Day, children go from house to house singing. On Christmas morning, a church service is held in which the Christmas scene is reenacted. Dinner is eaten outdoors with everyone sitting in a circle to share the meal. At night, Light, light up the sky. In Nigeria, you might hear someone say, Mary. Or, Jesus loves me, as a greeting. Big church programs and pageants are held. Music is very important to the people of Nigeria. On Christmas afternoon, children go from house to house singing carols and hoping for candies and cookies. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills. We will go tell it on the mountain. Jesus Christ is born. Yay! A huge thank you to the 14 kids and their families for recording something for our Christmas video pageant. And also a huge thank you to our CE committee for organizing it, uh, especially Linda Tobolesky, who wrote the pageant and got the scripts to the families and coordinated with them. Uh, and also to Pat Carl, who compiled and edited that gorgeous video. So the children have been practicing one song that they're going to sing for us live today. Um, they've been practicing during Sunday school, so I'm going to invite them forward for their song.
Here we go again. Let us pray. Come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Come to bring peace to those at war with themselves, their families, their enemies. May those who govern us do so with goodwill and justice, breaking down barriers, fostering understanding, and drawing our communities and our nations together in peace. Come, O oh come, Emmanuel, come to bring comfort to those in pain, to those who grieve, to those in need of healing and restoration. May those who suffer be assured of your extravagant grace and comforted by the hope that nothing shall separate them from your love. Come, O oh come, Emmanuel, Come to bring compassion to those who are weak and weary, those who stumble through their days. May those who are unemployed, those who are struggling financially, those suffering under the weight of debt, find your way out of no way. Grant them options, God. Grant them hope. We ask all these things in Christ's name, who taught his disciples to pray, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 
God has given us the greatest gift in his son, Jesus Christ. In Thanksgiving, let us return our gifts of our time and our money. Each person's offering is vital to the mission and ministry we do as a church, and that includes your offering, so thank you for your generosity. Yesterday, we had a special food pantry distribution to help families with holiday celebrations. 50 families came and received either a ham or a turkey, as well as some specialty rolls and bread items for their holiday dinners. Love grows here and is shared with our community. And so I thank you for continuing to support our ministries. Let us pray. God, you call us to live generous and grateful lives. Receive these gifts we offer today and use them to fulfill Christ's ministry. As Christ's hands and feet, use us too in your service. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 125, Joy to the World. Let us join our voices together in song.
God's love is a wonder, and we celebrate the wonder of God's great love shown to us in Jesus at Christmas time. And now may the God who loves you take delight in your living. May the God who seeks you find you when you fall. And may the God who sends you send you now with great joy. For the very one who created you and redeemed you goes with you still. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in worship today. I do have one quick announcement here. Joan, we are so grateful for the beautiful music that you bless us with. Uh, and we as a congregation have taken up a love offering for you. And so we present that to you today. May we go in peace. 